you know, to take a little step back, I mean, in terms of what the discussion with, with Ellen and Mike and Ben have been talking about, um, in prepaid, as we all know, I mean, basically there's a prevalent plan, a plan A or a plan B that employers can choose right now. I think the question on ACE and how it blends in on the employer side, um, it goes beyond that. Um, and in terms of the flexibility of what's going to be allowed or how is prepaid going to blend with ACA. Um, the way I look at what the potential ways that could end up being with respect to um, ACA versus prepaid is that on the prevalent plan, as Ben had said, um, it's probably going to be rated as a platinum plan under what ACA has, what they call the metal levels. And on the employer mandate under ACA is that on the connector on the insurance exchange um, there's four metal levels of um, plans that can be offered for employers um, and it starts with platinum gold silver and bronze and it's based on this thing called actual value and as ben had said um, our prevalent plan is probably rated actually at about 96 percent which would put it at a platinum level um, under aca and so once this exchange or in hawaii is called the connector um, there's two things with the with the connector. One is that there's an individual portal that's going to be created where individuals who either are going to qualify for subsidies, um, either to getting Medicaid at 100% or depending on what the state does, um, will get subsidies. It depends on where they are in the poverty poverty level. The other part of the connector is that what we what we refer, refer to as the shop portion, which is where small businesses. Um, will have the ability to purchase health insurance off off the exchange or the connector, but it, it's not, it's an option. It's not required to purchase um, small. It's not required for small businesses to purchase health insurance through the the connector. Okay. They, they can still continue to purchase outside of the connector, but if you don't purchase through the connector, then the subsidies that Ben was talking about, small businesses will, will not be eligible. And I'd like to point out that the subsidies for small businesses are already available. So small businesses should check with their accountants to see if they qualify for the tax credits. Um, and it, it's very stringent. I mean, the general uh, provisions that, in that are in play right now is that if you have, um, I think, 25 employees or less um, and an average salary of 50000 you may be eligible to get tax credit. So that, I would say, employers to go and check because you are, you can get that tax credit now. You don't have to wait till 2014. Um, but going to the connector and, again, the middle level versus the prevalent plan A or prevalent plan B, what could happen in 2014, and it's actually going to be sooner than that because the connector has to be operational by October 2013. Uh, for enrollment um, for the January um, 1st, 2014 start date. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. But what could pot <coughs> potentially happen with respect to purchasing from the exchange or how ACE blends with prepaid is that right now the prevalent plan, if it's rated at a platinum level, um, and if ACE controls with respect to mandating Hawaii to have the four metal levels available, then the question is, for those employers, will they be able to go in and not not only offer platinum plan, which is what probably our problem plan A and B is going to be rated at, but whether you can allow your employers to buy a, a gold, bronze, I mean silver or bronze level plan. And if that happens, then I think the prevalent plan standards in Hawaii will drop, where potentially the bronze plan will become the prevalent plan. Um, and so that, that's one possible scenario. The other scenario is that prepaid controls, and the only thing that can be offered is the platinum plan. Right. And so that, to me, is the real big question then, is, as to the impact of ACA versus prepaid. 